Throughout most of Europe's history, there's always been one international arbiter, namely the Papal States, that most of the times decided what's going on where, who's legitimate, who's not legitimate, and who can say the magical word of Shmagogodobos. Clearly, that's only people that have subscribed to the channel, so if you want to be able to say it, you need to subscribe as well, because then you get the magical handbook that tells you exactly how to pronounce it, otherwise you'll never be able to. By the way, that handbook is invisible, and it, speaking of invisible, that's pretty much the situation of the Papal States in the 19th century with 1836 right after the Napoleonic Wars the Papal States having lost a lot of its legitimacy not actual legitimacy but more of people didn't really care as much what the Pope says as they used to before in previous centuries and previous millennia really but that is gonna change we will be taking uh, this papal states here and we're gonna turn it into the amazing uh, Roman Republic we'll be bringing them from the brink of non-existence and making him the strongest nation for all to fear a true global crusade as I would like to say obviously we start with uh, only five battalions and we are struggling we have very little proper technology as well our people are not really educated which is kind of fascinating considering that, you know, the clergy has always been the, the knowledge holder, the ones that always kept the books and everything, right? Now we do have pretty much no buildings also. <laughs> we need basically everything here, man. We don't even have in the rural... Oh god, this is, this is gonna be one of the toughest starts I've done in a while. We don't even have a construction sector, bro. I mean, come on. Let's get three construction sectors and then right after we're gonna be uh, increasing our armed forces size. We're gonna be going here, we're gonna be increasing, we're gonna get get one two three four five and another five barracks so i'm gonna get up to 15 battalions and then right after we're gonna be attacking tuscany which has 10 battalions we're doing this because we need to grow in size okay we're not gonna go down the risorgimento path of forming italy that is not on the table we're doing that as sardinia piemonte we're doing that as the two sicily so you can watch those videos in the description below but today that's not the path we're taking today we're taking the tough part the part of the roman republic lads now economically speaking again not doing it amazing we're gonna to set up some uh, taxes here lick your tax of course obviously as the pope we gotta tax those people that are committing heresy services and wine which is technically also a liquor right is there a difference between wine and liquor isn't it like liquor is pertains to just like the spirits right i guess that's the case we're gonna also reform our government and we're gonna increase the amount of uh, political parties here so we're gonna get the civic nobility and the armed forces this allows us to change some things around we're gonna be able to change the dedicated police force it's not a priority though i kind of want to get professional army but there's not too much support for it unfortunately home affairs also maybe in the future but the most important thing we're going to go for is the landed voting it's got quite a lot of uh, endorsement actually very little opposition so there's a pretty significant chance that we're actually going to be getting this passed and then getting landed voting is the first step towards becoming a proper republic moving away from the old oligarchic autocratic versions of our country right i'm also going to be joining the customs union of the french oh no they want me to um, give them up obligations okay here you go obligations daria go lads now we're doing way better as a part of the uh, customs union of the french because we don't need to struggle with every single little good look at that our market includes all of the french empire which is a significant empire we could have also joined some other customs unions but i feel like the french one is the best choice since the french might help us out in the wars against the austrians in the northern bits when we attack uh, luca modena all of these guys austria very likely will help those nations out oh 15% enactment success chance. Hell yeah. 53% already on landed voting. I am a digging it. Oh, and almost forgot. Let's set up the uh, promote social mobility in all three of our states so we get more education access and as such increase the literacy in our country. We want literacy because obviously we need to get more weekly innovation. We get this right now we have 86 maximum, but we don't have the uh, we, we will eventually build the universities. Not just yet. Once we've uh, gotten our basic industry going a little bit more that's when we start building the unis so it's fine being a little bit backwards for the starting period is not the end of the world we can change over to the iron frame buildings here since uh, we are a part of the french market is not as bad as uh, it would be if we were not a part of the french market and it also seems like the private sector is building a tooling workshop in uh, romania obviously tools and uh, iron are going to be the main problems for the uh, french market too not just the our market if we were 
were still a part of the papal states market or not a part of but had the papal states market what is going on here gregorius capillari which is the pope okay we can force him to step down or ignore it and he gets 25 popularity uh, that's fine let him lose some of that popularity sometimes you gotta lose some to make some right that's what they say i think uh what is going on here we are losing a lot of money because of the fact that we have 25 on our construction sectors now so it's quite a little bit of construction we got we'll keep it because we really want to finish these faster the sooner the better once we have our troops ready for the war against the um the uh, tuscans we will double our economy essentially since right now we got 1.1 million gdp and a little bit of population they got 1.3 million and 1.6 million population so more than double our both our economy and our population let's also queue up uh one iron mine next so we have some of our own locally produced iron too and we got landed voting not surprised at all now this means we have less um authority i believe but it does mean that we have some political strength for the aristocrats capitalist clergymen and officers better than no political strength for anybody right let's see what we can do next i would love to go down the parliamentary republic path but that's a lot of opposition for now let's see if we can get dedicated police force might have to cancel it let's let's just be hopeful let's be very hopeful about it it's gonna pass guys it's definitely gonna pass let's queue up mass communication for the extra 10 percent authority points and also afterwards stock exchange so we get the uh policies here unlocked for future choices whenever we want to change any policies i love how when you hover over here it shows you how many units each battalion has it obviously needs to reach a thousand in order to um, fully become a battalion so for example the 10th north italian line infantry is about to finish so we're gonna get 12 units right now there you go almost there once we reach 15 we're gonna declare a war on um on tuscany of course and let's change a little bit around we added the agrarian party here hopefully that's gonna give us the choice of uh, more legislation to m move in our government and this law just stalled let's cancel it what do we have available now traditionalism we can change to agrarianism um you know what i'm kind of down for that yeah let's go for agrarianism i'm down with that it's better a little bit more than uh, traditionalism we got to be careful though if we give too much power to the uh rural folk we might end up as a communist nation <laughs> rather than the roman republic you know that would be pretty funny though communist papal states hell yeah all right let's try and conquer the state we're not making them a protectorate because we need this gdp and this population now instantly to start growing as expected we can call in a ton of nations so let's see who's going to be the most likely one to join us first mobilize our armies to boom shakalokos get by the border please because we're a part of the french market we shouldn't have any any issues with the, our supplies as well for the units maybe i should wait and see if uh, they get anybody to support them and if they do then i can call somebody in because otherwise i feel like i can just manage this by myself i don't think i need any support from anyone maybe two sicily will be a a good one though because two sicilies is right next to us so they might actually send some units a lot of the times in my test runs before when i when i called in the french or somebody else they only send like a few d uh, battalions they don't send that many so it's not really worth it giving obligations just for that right all right two sicilies do your thing come in here and help me out how many units they send hold up hold up they sent 48 units there you go exactly what i was saying better to call in the two sicilies they're sending three four times more units than the french were sending in this uh in this war before in my test runs all right boys let me double in size please let me double in size yes so much yes all right let's see those battles in there boys let's see those battles oh look at that two sicilies winning the war for me essentially we won that we captured some land let's win another battle here again two sicilies carrying the freaking day boys they are definitely carrying the day here imagine after this if i was to attack the two sicilies which which i probably will that would be the worst thing ever right <laughs> these things happen in war and love right this is all about war and love guys we're gonna have double the amount of units too we get the 10 extra battalions from the tuscans after we uh, enforce our peace deal which should be any moment now because they already had minus 80 war support and buyash nokos we are double in size officially let's incorporate the state because otherwise we're not getting any taxation or nothing from it and uh let's uh fix our country now oh damn we have a lot more uh buildings now look at that we got way more than before okay let's see leaded glass we would need to have lead do we have any lead um mines we do not we don't have any lead mine and we're not changing that in that case how about this dye workshop i think we do have dyes don't we yes we do let's see double check we don't have dyes what oh but actually never mind i just realized i'm a part of the uh, french market so it's fine even this is fine because we're a part of the french market literally forgot we're a part of the french market 
it happens sometimes let's start building those universities and uh let's um uh, actually I'm building just one for now let's also get promote social mobility here and i'm also going to be violently suppressing people so i get less state penalties from turmoil because right now since we just conquered this we have 30 percent turmoil it's going to go down but until it does we need to um, we need to show them who's boss let's see what exactly is the most sought after good on our market now we need iron pretty important steel as well we could do some steel but i feel like um iron might be it yeah yeah let's let's get some more iron mines iron is definitely going to be really really important for us let's get one more for now hopefully our economy doesn't completely collapse in the process of building that one mine <laughs> now i'm also going to queue up some cotton plantations because we need the fiber to have enough fiber to build stuff right we need the basic goods for building which is fiber tools woods and iron and i know that i said fabric wrong it's it's fabric it's not fiber my bad i was close enough to be fair okay few added uh, iron mines and uh, three more silk plantations should be good too since silk is actually extremely expensive in the uh, French market. It is right now more expensive than iron, so it's good because it's actually easier to build silk plantations, costs less than the iron mines cost. But I'm still building the iron mines because if I don't, and for some reason later in the future, I'm going to be kicked out of the French market, then I'm going to economically collapse if I don't have my basic goods available in my country, right? Sacre bleu, we got agrarianism, lads. Now that means uh, we can subsidize a lot of stuff, as well as we get 50% private construction allocation, more investment pool for the aristocrats, less for the capitalists, and more for the farmers by 50%. And our country is right now mostly farmers. I would love to see uh, per capita taxation passed. Ooh, that would be juicy as schnapps, lads. But let's see, 9% success chance is half and half. Let's see what happens. Oh, Lord. King Carl Alberto de Savoia supports Italian unification. So he just researched nationalism. So he's got the resorgimento now. I kind of have to play it against him, to be honest, since... Uh, if they unify Italy, then I have to fight a unified Italy. So I don't want to have to do that. I'm actually curious why I don't see the achievement for forming the Roman Republic as the Papal States. Is it because I don't have the DLC that's going to come alongside 1.5? I think that might be it. So I guess the DLC adds the achievements then. That's poo poo, man. I was I was kind of excited to get the achievement here. Oh, dude, we, uh, we had like 28% chance. We got so many bad events, we went down to zero. Now they cancel it, bro. Are you serious now? That is so unfortunate. All right, let's try the police force legislation passes a lot uh, slower now in the more recent version of the game which is kind of a good thing you know it's not so easy to pass legislation in real life too right we're gonna be queuing up a lot more logging camps now alongside the uh, 10 cotton plantations that we've built up well we haven't built all of them but we're in the process of building them no matter what country you're playing in vicky 3 no matter what situation you have logging camps are gonna be an absolute must as pretty much the whole industry the whole country starts from the wood necessary to build up the rest of the country and we can get our first company done now we have some potential companies we cannot establish just yet because we don't have the prerequisites but let's go through this and see what exactly we want to build and check what the prerequisites for it are i feel like uh, the latio gold consortium would not be bad for this we would need to have gold mine level five in latio do we even have the possibility of building gold mines in latio no there's no gold mines in latio hold up a second what is this man there's no gold mines in latio uh okay this might work though any papal states iron mine level 10 and prospering steel mill throughput plus uh 10 that's doable so what do we have this at now we have it at seven out of nine we cannot even reach level 10 with this oh god <laughs> oh boy okay do we have we do we could build the the iron mines in tuscany to level 10 there you go and that way we can get that uh, first initial company after i've also set the arabia as a uh, vital interest area because i am going to be attacking the no army no fleet nations in yemen <laughs> So uh, we're going to attack Kathiri here, which has 35,000 GDP, but most importantly has 51,000 population, better than nothing. Their neighbors in Maratu and everybody else here. But we're going to slowly creep around the world, establish a colonial empire whilst nobody's looking. Oh, is nobody supporting little Kathiri? Oh, what a horrible thing. It sounds to me like you're going to be my first crusader state, all right? We're establishing the crusader states and we're starting with the south tip of the Arabian Peninsula. That's what's up here, lads. Let's wipe them out. Let's make Papal States the Crusader State again. What? I'm really just doing this because there's going to be a lot of oil here later down the line, and I want to get a little bit of that oil. And this is a good foothold that we can establish ourselves and march through from afterwards into the other states. Thing is, the the British, the French, they're going to basically conquer all of Arabia eventually if we don't do it. So we want to do it before they get here, right? And there you have it. We just invaded and we got everything. Now, it's going to be a little bit more tough once we invade Nine. Oman and all these 
these other states, but we will be doing that too. Now, of course, let's start integrating them. Incorporatius Maximus and Attacius Neighborus Maximinius. Yes, the real word would be Minusculus, right? I don't know. Oh, we can build lead mines in Yemen. There you go, lads. This is pretty much the best thing ever because we need lead to increase our industry, right? Well, develop our industry, really. Kick, these guys have a wary attitude towards us. Why? I mean, I don't get it. We're just peaceful old papal Stettenstein. Are you implying I will attack you, Lahej? Well, you know what? I'm gonna attack you simply because you were implying it, all right? I wouldn't have done it otherwise. All right, we got atmospheric engine pumps about to Heim. We're so far behind with that schnapps, but we're, we're making our way there. Don't worry, we're making our way up. We got the atmospheric engine now, so we can get throughput for five years, a little bit of tech. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go for the railway tech because I do need to research railways sooner rather than later. And there you have it. It's just gonna take a little bit of time now since we already have 3.5k invested in it. Oh, oh, this is, I guess, a little bit better than national supremacy. <laughs> uh, okay. Another day, another Yemeni getting attacked. These guys might have an army, Kasimids. Yep, they got 20 battalions, up to 20 battalions, but 1 million GDP. So this is gonna be where the money's at, boys. This is the one that's gonna actually make me money, essentially. 59% endorsement for this is massive. We've also changed the government. So we now we have the Roman Korea, the industrialist, and the civic nobility. And I just realized I was bolstering these guys from the start. We do not want to do that. In fact, we want to bolster the industrialists because we want to have uh, a modern nation, not a um, theocracy. My vigil eye has also noticed that Bahrain has no soldiers and they have a rebellion that also has no soldiers. So I'm going to annex both of them and I'm going to make them also a part of the greater crusader papal states, really. To arms, my lords, to arms. Let's go, baby. Let's not forget to integrate them or incorporate them and attack their breakaway state here. Whoa, what just happened? We got the railways unlocked. That's good. We got professional army. That is amazing, actually. And we cannot attack these guys. Why is that? It's because they already have a diplomatic play with... What the hell? Ottomans trying to conquer Bahrain? Come on, dude. Actually, no. Well, in that case, I'm attacking Najd and I'm fully annexing it as revenge against the Otter Bros. And yeah, boys have gotten too much freedom in here. It's time to establish the theocracy in the Middle East. That's what we need, okay? That's definitely what the what the Arabia needs, a proper theocracy under the control of the one true theocratic government. Don't worry though, we'll be a republic very soon. <laughs> oh, two Sicilies declared us their rivals. The gloves are off, I'm building an army and I'm wiping you out, two Sicilies, it's time. And since you declared me a rivalry, I'm gonna declare you my rival too. There you go, rivalry has been declared. Oh, look how cool this is. We actually have, uh, we split the Arabian Peninsula in half. <laughs> Industrials are gonna expect the government to pass per capita taxation within the next five years. I tried already, man. No, nobody wants it, bro. Come on. Uh, I'll try it. Oh, 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 holy shit. 46%. They want it now. They definitely want it now. That's gonna boost up our economy a ton. Look at that. Just initial revenue is gonna change by 15,000, lads. 15,000. All right, let's also build up some uh, more units. Now that we have professional army, we can actually construct a lot more units. So we're gonna do that right now. Five of these and some lancers say five of those bad boys to out clicking everything so we finish this quickly and another four of these bad boys let's go ladies and gents once that army is done i'm gonna do a little bit more invasion and in, uh here i'm gonna take kasimids oman and uh shamar out actually i can do shamar now and then after i'm gonna attack the two sicilies to um unify half of italy essentially right yeah shamar has got one unit so that's basically nothing really let's see how many units these guys have 81 battalion oh okay Okay, yeah, okay, I'm gonna actually need help from someone and someone that actually would help me Maybe I should wipe out the three smaller nations in the north before uh, I've been improving with the Austrians and maybe I'll be lucky and they're not gonna join against the, against me in those wars If that's the case, then uh, we should be a-okay. Oh, dude, really? I lost another 10 in Acme chance. That is horrible I hate that even by the way. It's it absolutely always lowers the chance of getting the legislation It never gives the plus ever. It's essentially a scam guys. You've got no chance again Against me, Kasimids. I got more Truppersteiners, and they're all Swiss for some reason. No, seriously. Why is the Papal States Army Swiss? The real question. That's I'm, I'm just asking the real question here, okay? When the reality is that they should all be Yemenis. Look how many Yemenis we got. Why don't we make everybody Yemeni, bros? Uh, what is going on here? 20% in Acme chance. Hell yeah, there you go. We got 50% for capita taxation. We need that. We need that badly, boys. And now let's crush some Kasimids, please. Boy, that was a very quick war. We got. Oh, we didn't get the entirety of it. We're gonna get the entirety after this battle here. 
So that is how much? That is 1.1 million GDP and 1 million population. We're growing by 25% by integrating the Casamids in our nation now. Plus, that's a lot of extra new units that we're getting, and we just got per capita taxation. Hell yeah! With the new units, it's gonna be a lot easier to just uh, get the rest of uh, the Arabian Peninsula too, and get prepared for the war against the two Sicilies. Hmm, do I get... Should I get water to boiling? How? What is my population? I got 460,000 peasants? Holy snaps, man. We seem to also be lacking governing uh, administrations now because of uh you know having added a massive chunk of population to our country so we're gonna fix that now and there you go over here now we got in yemen 1.3 million gdp 1.16 population and it's only gonna take 15 years to incorporate them it's actually quite a little bit because we need to change our legislation and accept everybody not just uh our own really you know Yo, plus 25 interest group yay oh we got the united principalities of romania and valachia lands hell yeah look at that the united principalities forever together ever and ever so i'm taking advantage of the fact that um <laughs> the ottomans are at war with the egyptians right so egypt's definitely not gonna help much in my war against hejaz and i'm taking all of hejaz i could potentially call in the u.s if i become their protectorate they really want to establish themselves in the middle east don't they so early on in their existence too but no no we're not doing that we're confident we're gonna be able to do this ourselves because we're gonna do some naval invasions in egypt to force their hand to give us what we want oh they're getting their asses handed to them in here boys <laughs> it is time to act everybody it is time to act let's go wait what no shot no they backed down they backed down <laughs> We just got land for free. We got a lot of land for free. Hell yeah, boys. All right, Incorporatio and Hejaz got even bigger. 2.2 million now. Not Hejaz, sorry. Yemen got even bigger because we got the lands from the Hejazi bits. And we got a secondary army. How about we transfer these boys over to the main army for now? Yeah, let's do that. Let's also try and go for wealth voting. That would be a little bit better. It's going to really lead us down the uh, Republic path if we do manage to pass this out. And let's also just continue with the expansion here oman's got some lands in africa that i'm likely gonna take as well since um i want to establish myself in africa and i'm gonna make a protectorate of whatever is left so i got two uh war goals here we're gonna take oman we're gonna take the trucial states here and uh we're gonna protectorize the uh, the rest of it so that means zanzibar is gonna be our protectorate we're doing that because we um uh, well i kind of forgot to do this before and i'm too lazy now to reload the game that's actually why <laughs> is the game trying to tell me that the papal states that the french want to see the papal states grow is that what the game is telling me here all right time to crush him lads time to cut wait what they're winning this no shot <laughs> no shot they're actually winning against me come on brother come on brother and that took a massive turn and we are actually winning now okay yeah no I knew that they're not gonna win. You cannot win against somebody that's three times the size of your army, bro. Come on. Just give up. Just give up, Oman. You know you wanna. You know you absolutely wahana. Give me hope. Johanna, Johanna. Hope. We got half of their country. Yeah, it's done. It's done and done. You guys are gone. That honestly sounded a little bit better in my mind. Also gonna need some more construction sectors, to be fair. So let's get, um, say, two more in Tuscany and Lazio. Let's get it up to 10 flat. We haven't really been building too much recently. If I paid attention, I could have uh, helped uh, San Marco out. I didn't realize that uh it's venice basically breaking away from the austrians but i'm kind of thinking that they're gonna lose this aren't they parma support <gasps> wait 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 parma supporting it that means these guys are getting support from the smaller entities in the north and that means austria is not gonna help them out when i attack them this is my chance lads oh yeah baby wealth voted in this okay let's check actually um how much support we would have for republic oh my god dude 42 percent support hot damn lads hot freaking damn okay okay i'm getting too excited right now i'm getting really excited right now so uh for some reason the the papal states uh well the clergy let's call them uh, decided to fight us because they believe that we should not actually um become a republic i disagree with that and as such we're gonna be fighting and we're gonna be wiping them out but a civil war for the betterment of our nation lads for the actual betterment of our nation where is my army where is my actual army guys please oh god they're coming all the way from africa yeah okay please arrive in time okay we this is pretty vital we don't want to lose this war do we now oh oh we're getting supported by uh, our defensive alliance boyos the french so that is something that is definitely something for the better i was so close to saying we're about to lose this but luckily we're not about to lose this let's go lads let's go let's win this and make the roman republic once once more around make it around bring it back is what i'm trying to say here okay we're definitely winning fast 
we're winning very fast and we have 78% chance to get parliamentary republic so please hurry up we need that republic thank you thank you very much all right we got half of their country down we have won boys we've won the civil war we ousted the theocracy the holy see we got the holy see out of here now let's fix our country because that uh, civil war kind of screwed us up a little bit dude i got 97 percent chance to get this inactive that's literally like getting a 97 percent siege progress in eu4 that is just ridiculous can we actually get this passed please on the bright side we have a hundred righteous government right now holy mother that is juicy bro that is really juicy we can also build more construction sectors now so let's build another say three for now and we're also going to increase the uh railways in tuscany since we need that wait what we already had it queued up hold up sick oh ho, we're a parliamentary republic and we are now the roman republic hey, hey we formed the roman republic lads look at that amazing name change amazing flag totally what the flag of the roman republic would have been clearly and yeah this is um this is just the first step you know that you know that the Roman Republic needs to take back all of its Republican Roman lands, doesn't it, lads? So to help with that, we're gonna need to uh, change a few things. First, cultural exclusion, better than uh, national supremacy. So it's gonna be a little bit easier for us to uh, incorporate other cultures around the world, like our Arabian cultures here. Mm -hmm. Huzzah, we've passed it, lads. Cultural exclusion, meaning we only exclude people we want to. <laughs> no, but seriously, though. I'm also curious to see how the new world is looking here. The United States has definitely established itself as a proper behemoth in the region everything else is about the same as it normally goes we also have uh, australia hungary here formed and we're actually in really good terms with them we have pro they have protective attitude towards us so they will likely help us out when we attack the uh, two sicilies i've also queued up a ton of uh, units to be built so once those are done we're going to declare the war on uh, these guys in the meanwhile we can still do a few wars i'm thinking to attack basically ethiopia for the extra population that they have bring those boys into the Italian peninsula and make them work for me. We actually have a border with the Somalis, so it's super easy to attack them from our island of uh, Socotra, which in modern times, by the way, this little island here is causing a lot of issues in uh, the Middle East since it's being, technically it's a part of Yemen, but it's kind of occupied by UAE and, and some other nations are just making it a lot harder for uh, poor old Yemen to just govern their own land, you know? That war was super fast, as all of these wars will be since these guys have barely any armies after we get dedicated police force i'm thinking to get the uh, colonization policies because i've uh, just researched quinine i don't know how but uh, it actually got the research by itself basically the you know the random research that goes alongside the one you focus on and as such uh, going for this would be easy too since we have 52 percent endorsement for it so definitely going to be my next uh, go-to legislation here I'm doing that also because most of africa is yet to be colonized and by us colonizing the african bits means we're going to get insanely high amounts of of, uh, income right also no migration control is impressive because we need the population we're down to basically less than a hundred thousand people that are able to work so migration control first and then after um colonization in that order okay in that order i promise i'm not gonna skip getting colonization anymore it's, it's coming it's coming lads just give it a few more moments kind of funny how we also have basically no uh infamy we have 3.6 infamy because we've been attacking nations that nobody gives a schnapps about unfortunately for them and fortunately for us and also these states let's face it isn't that much infamy in the first place so we spent the past few uh a couple of years just boosting up our troops we got 90 battalions significantly more than uh, two sicilies uh 96 okay never mind they've also been recruiting <laughs> It's fine. We're gonna use. We're gonna win because they have uh, 51 actually battalions and uh, 45 conscripts, which are not really the best. Okay, conscripts don't work. Alrighty, lads. We've gotten uh, most of two Sicilies, not all of it. That was fairly easy though. We did a couple of naval invasions, so we did kind of cheese it, but it is what it is. Now we got tricolors over Rome. Long live Italia. Enable parliamentary republican governance principles. Law sense the suffrage. Okay, right. I see what's up. Boy, this is so ugly though. <laughs> They got one state left and it's like in the middle of my country now. Hey, on the bright side, we managed to get rid of, um, you know, the revolution by uh, getting private healthcare. Best kind of healthcare, if you're rich, of course. Now we're going to have to incorporate these lands here and we're going to have to make uh, Italy or the Roman Republic get back on its feet because, uh, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's, it's not the easiest of things to do, restoring the Roman Republic the hard way. But I hope you guys enjoyed this run. And hey, if you did, don't forget to leave a like. And until the next time, check out this awesome 
Germany run. And I want to give a massive thank you to all of my patrons, channel members, and Twitch subscribers. I would not be able to do this without all your support.